Hello, look at the one. Um, I'm absolutely shattered. <laughs> it's really weird, I think I've overdone it a bit because, um, you know what, I'll jump sleeping the last two nights. Right? I'm still absolutely worn out. I just can't, can't even get any, any rest, you know. Um, can't think straight enough. I'm also working pretty hard on this Doctor Who stuff. Because I want to get this one up, basically, before I have a giant night out. <laughs> I need to go and have a night out, a bit of downtime. Um, I was reminded by my mate Neil <coughs> last night on the phone. First time we've been in contact with each other for bloody months because we've both been busy. And he said, well, I thought you were supposed to be taking a break after the I said, well, hmm, I was supposed to, like. <laughs> but, I, you know, sometimes these things come across and you haven't got much of a choice, you know, you just want to do them. You know, it's a classic project I want to do. I'll do it. And you know, something occurred to me whilst walking around here. Now, bear in mind, I've lived in this area, you know, for 32 years. I've been around this area for 32 years. Um, it would have been almost five. And I'm not so sort of how farmhouses and farms and stuff like that. And I've got absolutely no idea how to get there. There's no access roads. So, what I'm going to do is in two minutes, instead of going back along there with the Transformers, right? So, I'm going to go down this road. Now, I don't know where it leads, I think it leads right back over there, where it's supposed to go, but I might be adding a few miles on the journey. So let's go and see if I can get down this little track here without breaking my fucking neck. See where it goes. Um, everybody's got to see where it fucking goes again, aren't they? Probably going to end up going on a massive hill again, but... Um, I've been having a bit of a read online and stuff, you know. Uh, for me, not though, I wanted to just say that um, the last um, article in the 3D Creative series uh, begins to get a ZBrush. Uh, that should be out that, uh, within in that magazine, the last one, uh, last article for me, not the last magazine. Um, in the next issue, I think that's June, but probably in, in the next seven days. Now you see, Chris, who does the layout for all the magazines and all the 3D total stuff, like, I know he watches these, so, first of all, why aren't you working? <laughs> and he probably knows better than me, so he might leave a comment or something, I don't know. But it's normally within about seven days when I get the fruit copies. Um, also, the full one hour, 15 minute video that I've put up. Um, they've got that all on the server ready. So you get the magazine, you'll get a nice link. I don't know whether they're putting the link as well on the site for free after that, but we'll have to see. But uh, yeah. It's um I didn't want to do a one for beginners that was basically just um this is how this tool works. This is how this tool works. I've done that right. I've done it twice. You know effectively um on DVDs. So I thought it made more sense to do something like actual sculpting. Right? Uh, it is aimed at beginners, but, you know, maybe somebody else will be interested in finding something interesting. Um, now, I also want to put an appeal out. It's a bit strange. I'm looking for a friend of mine. Now, we lost touch about 18 months back. Uh, we had some problems in his life, and his business, nobody else's. Um, and nobody knows if he's there. Nobody that I thought I'd moved back to this town. Everybody, somebody know what happened to Reg, as we call him. His name is Peter Reginald Saunders. I'll say that again because I can't pass. His name is Peter Reginald Saunders. Hello. Oh, look what I've just found. It's a rabbit. It looks like it's blind. You poor little sod. Can't see you. It's going to last very long, are you? There's no sod in the way I'm taking a new one. Because the cane will probably decide to play with it. There you go. Bit of wildlife. Um, Peter Reginald Saunders, same age as me. He's 37. Well, he's a bit older than me, so probably nearly 38 now. Uh, looks like a cross between Jesus and Charles Manson. Very intelligent man, last heard of working uh, at the University of Northumbria. Um, working in the department with all the courses and stuff there, right? That's his job. He's one of the guys in charge. Need to find Reg again, because I've known Reg for 20 odd year, probably longer than that actually. And it'd be nice to get back in touch with him again. Um, hopefully he hasn't, you know, just disappeared off the planet or dropped dead or something. But yeah, let's see what we've got. We've got six minutes, yeah? Um, now, I was reading on one of my occasional sojourns over to CG Talk. It's not a bore I frequent very often, you know, I just have a quick read of the news and stuff. And somebody started a uh, thread about how boring tutorial DVDs were. Well, obviously, that's a subject quite close to my heart. Now, I find these threads hilarious, right? Because it's a bit like um, if you read people's comments on CG that don't work in the industry, okay? You notice that. Uh, 
you know, they get things wrong. They don't, you know, you can't exactly straighten them up. Well, I'll explain. You know, um, the one that said, well, some of them are. Yeah, some of them are. But again, this is not supposed to be fucking Paul Bible, right? You're supposed to be learning, right? So you find me a Open University Maths DVD, because they are some out. I know some people that watch them for his degree. That's entertaining. It's not. You'll know why? Because you're trying to get stuff into your head. If you want to know badly enough, you'll learn, right? None of us that do DVDs are perfect. We never profess to be. But my attitude is this. I teach in a certain way that I know works very well. I've taught this way for a number of years on a number of different subjects, and it always gets results. Now, that doesn't say it's going to work for everybody. It's not. That's why I always insist, whenever I have I had DVDs out, that there's some, a little bit of free footage put on, so that people make sure they understand me, that they like the way that I'm learning them. So then, if you haven't looked at that, right, and you haven't looked at the, uh, the sample footage, do not whinge to me or anybody else, you know, later on. Because that's, you know, by everywhere, isn't it? Um, See, so I look at that and I think, well, yeah, we'd all love to be very entertaining, but I've tried it both ways, right? I've tried the laid-back approach, which I did in the Budbox DVDs. First one of those went right down really well, um, in that style. Then I was told by a few people that I trusted at the time that, oh, you want to ramp it a little bit, don't bother about trying to hide the regional accent. Not realising the reason they were saying this, because they thought that, if, that I'd get fired from Curve, which was never going to happen, by the way. The only reason I was ever going to go from there is if I left. Um, and then, you know, they'd take over, but it didn't work like that. So that's why the Zebra's ones were sort of a bit more hyper. Plus, I've had way too much caffeine. <laughs> but the, the, the subjects in that um, are still, you know, still relevant. You know, um, if you want to learn badly enough, how badly do you want it? See, I hate to say it, but... When I'm reading things like, well, I can't concentrate for more than five minutes of, a, of any DVD, no matter regardless of who it is. And you think to yourself, look, that's not a problem with the, D, with the DVD, that's attention deficit disorder. You know, I can't put the stuff into your head, I can't plant it like the fucking Matrix. You've got to do some work. Now, to, not, to risk sounding a bit uppity, how do you think I got, you know, to learn what I did? I used to sit, play early hours in the morning, no matter how sleepy I was, prizing my eyes open, watching stuff and reading stuff every hour of the day that I was awake. And I was awake a lot. Oh, insomniac. Right? Check this. Um, so basically, uh, if you don't want to learn it, if you're not prepared to put the work in, don't whinge to other people. Right? Um, there's some Roby DVDs out there. And there's some good ones. And there's nobody, really, and I don't care who they are, that has put out a perfect series of DVDs, right? You always have at least one clunker. <laughs> it's a law of the universe, right? And nothing's ever perfect. Um, but even, you know, the worst of uh, some of these DVDs is still useful uh, to the right user. Simple as that. Um, mine will do a certain way. I'm not about to change them now. My approach now, should I ever do any more, um, I'll approach them more like I did with the mud box one. Do you notice that on the uh, freebie? Um, it's a bit more laid back. Um, you know, for people, hopefully that makes a bit more sense, and yeah, I know it can get a bit boring, but at least that way I know that everybody can understand the information if they can't, and not only means they're from Serbia or somewhere, and English is a second language. <coughs> That's another thing that drives me crazy, by the way, when you see people who English is their second language, having a damn good whinge about how they can't understand stuff, right? Well, buy it in your own language. If it's not well, try and find, you know, try and organise making some in your own language. That's what I'd say. But hey, what do I know? I only make the damn things. Anyway, let's see what time it is. Right, it's time for me to go because I'm going to now work out where the hell to go at this crossroads because I've never been down here before. I'm in danger of getting lost. Um, so I'm going to go. I'll see you in part two. Part two, I'll, yeah, I'll start in a minute once I've got the right direction and we'll catch up with some more stuff. Make sure you watch part two. See ya.